everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a tutorial. We're going to make this super simple double strand bracelet. Very dainty, very sparkly, and very cute. So let's get to making. No. 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 You're not being good. No, you're not. You're handsome. For our materials, I have some 4mm fire polished beads in this pretty um, green teal color. I have some 3x2mm silver rondelle spacer beads. I have a 10mm lobster claw clasp. You can use whatever clasp you like. I like the lobster ones because they are easier for me to put on by myself. I have two crimp covers, I have two crimp beads, I have a 5mm and a 4mm jump ring. I have a 10 inch strand of beading wire. And then I have some chain, I got this one from Fire Mountain Gems. So you can use uh, any kind of chain that you like. This one is um, a thin one. And then you need your tools and you will need a ruler uh, to measure your wire and your chain. So I've already cut my wire. I'm going to make a bracelet that is six and three quarter inches long. My wrist is a six inch long, six inch round, so this will give a little bit of room. We are going to put on one of our crimp beads, and you're going to bring your wire back through your crimp bead. You're going to pull that up a little bit to make your loop. Then you're going to take your crimping pliers and you are going to crimp that bead down. Rotate it and crimp it and it makes nice little crimp in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my crimp cover on there right now. So you just lay your crimp bead in there. And take your pliers and just gently squeeze it closed. Moving side to side, you don't want to squeeze too hard because you don't want to flatten it. Hi. Hi. So we've got a little bit of a tail on there, and we're just going to leave that there. And you come say hi. Hmm? Don't eat my wire. 
Not for you. Well, hi. Okay, so we got our cramp bead and cover on there. Okay, so we're just going to go in an alternating pattern. So there, we are just going to push the little tail wire through the end bead, and there is the start of our bracelet. And then we're just going to keep threading until you get the length that you want. might help if I had my glasses on, but I don't. So we have six inches of beads. Okay, so for my six inch bracelet, I ended up using 26 of the fire polished beads and 25 of the rondelle spacers. Other crimp bead. going to pull the mm -hmm. tail through and we'll just loop it through one of the beads and pull it down so you have about the same size of loop on each end you 
don't want it too tight because you want your beads to, um, you don't want them so tight that it, it won't bend nicely. Okay, so we have a hair crimp bead on there with the loop. And we are going to crimp that closed. We will cut that little tail off. And then we will add our crimp cover. Going to gent. We squeeze it closed, moving around the cover. And so there is the first part of our bracelet. And so we're going to take our four millimeter jump ring and we are going to twist it open. Put one end of our bracelet in there along with our clasp. And then we are going to take, take our 5 millimeter jump ring, open that, and then we're going to put that on the other end. I like to use a little bit bigger Jump ring on the opposite side. That way the lobster clasp has a little bigger um, space to hook onto. So we have our bracelet. Now we are going to add our chain. So we want our chain to be the same length as our jump rings from one end to the other. Okay, so my chain measures about uh, six and three quarters. We're going to open up our jump ring and add the chain. Make sure you close your jump ring all the way. So there is our double strand bracelet. My wrist is a six inch around. I do make my bracelets a little bit bigger because um, I don't like it when they're so tight. I like them to move around a little bit. I really like these fire polished beads. They have like the two tone color in there. That's super simple um, bracelet to make, but really pretty. So if you enjoyed my bracelet tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like jewelry tutorials and bead hauls. Check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link down below. And thanks for watching.